do you agree with everything Jack Cruz says? No. <laughs> it's the simplest question that I have had to answer today. <laughs> um, yes, I think light is secondary to diet. Diet is primary, the most important thing. Then all the other things become a secondary um, in nature. And I've and I did ask once uh, Bart K to allow me on when he had Jack Cruz so I could actually discuss a few issues with him on the on certain topics. But Bart didn't want to upset him, and so I was excluded. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> um, I do, you know, I, we don't have to have it. It's not about going head to head i'm willing to have a friendly conversation with jack if he ever wants to on a number of these issues um and i will be the sort of person that as he's saying things i will explain them in plain english so people know exactly what he's saying because he uses convoluted terms um i'm not saying he's deceptive but he doesn't want to be criticized and I think that's not the right way to undertake public discord. If you stand by certain statements, put them out in plain English and clear for everyone to see and everyone to argue and research and look at what the actual literature says. Because a lot of the stuff that Jack says are extrapolations and speculations from the extrapolations that he's done. The difference is when I do my speculations, I tell people quite clearly that I am speculating on the best understanding that I have. I do not claim that I have, you know, evidence. But it's the, the you know, it's the, it's the old sort of saying, the probability that it's anything else is unlikely because it seems that that is the strongest likelihood, but it's still a speculation. And we have to be clear about that. Um, Anyway, he, look, he's a nice fellow. He's a smart fellow. He's a very intelligent man. I have a lot of respect for him. And I think, and I've learned a lot from him as well about, you know, quantum biology and stuff like that. So don't get me wrong. I have a lot of respect for him. He, um, he's a smart man. And most of the stuff that he says is correct, those who understand it. But the problem is the way he delivers it, I have an issue with. And I think it's an elitist, ag, ag, um, agnostic approach where we who are the special ones that have the special knowledge, high IQ are the only ones who understand this and everybody else, mm, you are just plebs. And I think that's very to be trying to help people, not trying to lecture people. So it's really the wrong approach. I think he's got the potential to contribute a lot to our community and wider, the general community, but he's pigeonholed himself into this sort of elitist camp and he doesn't want to, you know, converse with anyone outside his little elite group. And I think he does a disservice to himself because he's got a lot to offer and does a disservice to the wider community um in the way he approaches things but i think on the issue where he claims that light is more important to human physiology then he does temper the, that down he says well diet is much more important the further away you go from the from the equator he does make that argument um that then and he does recognise the deuterium side. He does um, recognise that, um, you know, at the mitochondrial level, you know, fatty acids play a bigger role the further away from the equator you go. But I always say, well, you know, if light played a bigger role at the equator, why are we seeing double the the um, diabetes ra rates in people in Southeast Asia since they've introduced fructose? In large amounts into their diet because remember countries like muslim countries like indonesia 
um, Malaysia and places like that. They've had an explosion because they can't drink alcohol. So what do they do? They, do, they drink beverages with fructose, fruit juices. And we've seen an absolute explosion. So, you know, diet's not important for health. Bloody hell it is. It's the, the primary one that is, because otherwise we wouldn't see that. We would see much lower levels, even at the same levels of consumption of fructose, we would see much lower levels of derangements in those people having fruit juices compared to North Americans. But we don't. We see the complete opposite. And so if light was that important, why isn't it mitigating it? That's just one question I put out there for anyone. You know, it's an, a logical extrapolation. I don't think I'm going to get an answer. Anyway, 